In this video, you will learn how to add interactive banners and featured products to your website homepage. Let's take a look at our homepage to see what we're working with. Click your username in the top right of the page and choose Visit Web Store. A new tab opens to the homepage of our website. We've already added logos, installed a free theme and changed some colours around, but we now have a section specifically to display our custom banners, but it's empty. You can click on it to add a banner or we can do it through the control panel. To add banners, navigate to the Web Store menu and choose Advertising Campaigns. Click Add New Advertising Campaign and on the New Campaign page, add a new banner, carousel slide or text advert. We've now got some basic information about our banner that we can add. The type should be set to Add Unit the status active, and group left empty. Groups are for customised themes that have banners on different pages, which most themes do not. We'll leave the date start and end empty so that our banner always displays and then click save and continue. We can now build our banner. Click the browse button and find your banner to upload it. you'll see some image sizing options to make it fit the space on your homepage if needed. We can also add text to the top of our banner in the headline, add text and call to action text fields. The banner I've created has text already on it, so I'm going to leave these blank, but feel free to experiment with them and see if they suit your needs. Our banner can also link to another page when it's been clicked on. This is really useful if you have new products, sale products, announcements, or you want to drive traffic in a specific direction. The banner I've added is a sales banner, so I'm going to link it to a product category. To do this, I click the links in the drop-down box and choose product category. I can then browse which category clicking on the banner will go to. You'll see that you can link the banner to any page on your website, a specific product, or even an external site. Lastly, we'll choose where to display this banner. Our current theme has the banner section on the home page, so we'll click Add. It will appear selected on the right. Click Save to complete the process. Now when I refresh my home page, our sales banner appears, and if I click on it, it takes me to the category I linked it to. What I'm now going to do is turn this banner into a carousel. To do this, we're going to create new banners and add them to the same location. Repeat the process that we just performed for an individual banner. The banners I'm uploading were created through bannersnack.com using a free account. All up, they probably took about 30 minutes to find stock images, learn the basics and create the banners. I'll repeat this process again to create a third banner in our carousel. Now when I refresh my homepage, we'll see arrows on the sides of the banners and circles at the bottom. These let us navigate the different slides in the carousel. They will also rotate automatically as well if we leave them alone for a bit. The other advertising element on our homepage are our featured products. Right now it's showing any products that we have in our system, but we can define it to show whatever products we want. In the control panel, we'll go back to the advertising campaigns page. We could create a new featured products campaign, but we have an existing one we can modify instead. It already has the basics set, including where to display, but there aren't any products defined. Click the Add Product button and search for the products you want to display on your homepage. Click Save when you're done, and then refresh your homepage. Homepage now displays the featured products we've selected in the advertising campaign, and our web store is one step closer to being ready.